Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Call me Biz, Daniel Tosh. Daniel Tosh, man. I don't know what it is about this man. <laughs> he be saying the most messed up things ever, but it's hilarious, you know. When they go dark, we go into the abyss. <laughs> Nah, look, this is Daniel Tosh with Moss. This is from his um People Pleaser um special. I've done a few other um bits from there, so here we are. Look, if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like the video, leave a comment, let me know that you are here. Look, if you ain't got nothing to say, just be like, I was here. I appreciate that. That's you know what I'm saying that's love. No more ghost watching. Uh yo, let's go ahead and listen. Why do people make a big deal about last meals in prison? What do you want for your last meal? Oh, I don't know, kind of lost my appetite. <laughs> It'd be interesting. Don't know if you heard, gonna be murdered tomorrow. <laughs> you have to eat something. Make it a burrito. You're gonna clean some shit up. <laughs> yeah, now neither one of us are looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> I was watching one of those locked up shows. I saw a guy that was shanked 682 times. Now let's all agree that that's a lot. That's overkill. Do you have any idea how long it would take to stab somebody 682 times? I did the math, don't rack your brain. At two stabs per second, which I believe is a doable rate. <laughs> that's still five minutes, 45 seconds-ish of stabbing someone. Yo. That's not even factoring in, getting tired, having to switch to your non-dominant hand. Like. <laughs> Here's the crazy part, he lived. Yeah, there's your upside for obesity, America. She get back in line, hit that buffet one more time, on the off chance she gets stabbed 682 times. Like. <laughs> Walk it off. <laughs> off topic, if you've ever bragged about doing a half marathon, you can shut the fuck up forever. What's a half marathon? <laughs> when did that even become a thing? A half marathon? Why? Ooh. <laughs> I just finished reading half a book. <laughs> yeah, big thick one. Got to the middle, set it down. I'll never look at it again. I can bench press around 450 pounds one half time. One half time. Just the down part. <laughs> the point is, until you've shit yourself and your nipples are bleeding at mile 26, you've accomplished nothing and no one wants to hear about it. The nipple bleeding is a fact. Mexicans? You know who you are. You are not supposed to be here. I love Mexicans. I love Mexican food. But next time I'm in your restaurant, please don't come up to my table and ask if I would like to start with the house-made guacamole. You know good goddamn and well I want that guacamole. <laughs> Let's just bring it out. I make that kind of money now. What's upsetting to me is when my entree comes with a free side of guacamole, staring me in the face, teaching me a costly lesson in patience. That's too much guacamole. What kind of Ponzi scheme are you Mexicans up to? This joke is stupid. I don't care. What happened in the last 10 years in this country where we've become so obsessed with guacamole? Is there gonna be guacamole there? Honey, get dressed. It's avocado season. Yo, guacamole's okay. It's okay. This joke doesn't work in Canada because they've never heard of Mexicans. Canada has the greatest fence ever built. America. It is foolproof if you can afford it. Really easy to be the cool, open-minded hippie country when there's a Kevlar Snuggie of America draped around your fat, frozen asses daring the world to talk shit. We don't use our military. Uh, we know, we got you taken care of. Go back to bed, we'll wake you in the NHL playoff start.
By the way, has enough time passed in this country that we can openly and honestly talk about the great things Osama bin Laden did for us? <laughs> and don't act like he didn't do anything good. How about the fact that we immediately know September is nine? <laughs> That's not nothing. That's not nothing. Do you remember what we used to do? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Nine. Honey, it's nine. <laughs> I use it for August, 9-11 minus one, eight. <laughs> How about the fact that every time you take your wife, or your girlfriend to the airport, you no longer have to walk her all the way to the gate? <laughs> yeah, maybe next time you do a drop off, you give them a quick, thanks Osama. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying that good young tight stuff they hand out up there. Wow, the virgin. Are we okay with mocking his beliefs? I did that joke in Utah and they laughed like that's the crazy religion. <laughs> Those stupid Muslims, they only have one heaven. I believe Mormons have three. I've never read their plates. <laughs> Some of you are too young to remember pre 9 11 airport drop offs, but they were the worst. Your girlfriend's like, can you give me a ride at the airport? And you're like, yeah, I'd love to, because there's never been a service invented that would take you to the airport. Like what time's your flight? 4.15 a.m.? Perfect. No, I was gonna get up at two anyway, so that works out. No, you know me, two o'clock rolls around in my body. It's like, start your day, it's two. Then you're driving the airport, you're like, you gonna come inside? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Parking there's so convenient. Besides, I like to start every day with a two-mile stress-filled sprint walk. Oh, your flight's delayed an hour and a half? Perfect. I'll get a Cinnabon, get diabetes before you take off. <laughs> Do you remember? Some guys wouldn't even leave after they boarded. They would just stand at a window waving in a machine backing up because they were so happy to finally be alone. <laughs> now what do you get to do thanks to Osama? Barely slow down and kick them to the curb. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, but I say that's worth a tower. <laughs> not two, not two, not two. Whoa. That was close. No, no, no. Rightfully so. I fucking thought he meant both of them. He didn't. He only meant one. He cleared it up. Which one? Does it matter? To my uncle. There you go. Now everyone's offended. Bro, man. I don't know what, what type of upbringing you gotta have to have the balls to make this type of content but i love it <laughs> toxic i love it <laughs> i love the toxic shit. look first of all fuck the airport uh if i'm dropping somebody off i'm dropping you off i'm not coming in everything about the airport is meant to be inconvenient like they don't even try like <laughs> they they want you to they want you to know once you're here this is probably gonna be the most fucked up part of your day all right so once you get to your destination you should be fucking happy and celebrate jump do high fives back flips give somebody a dollar bill when i went to haiti i was giving out five dollar bills hey, look Yo, shot, shot, shot. Yo, that, that was close. He he was walking a thin line. <laughs> he, 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 was, uh, he was walking a thin line. Uh, Daniel Tosh, Anthony, um, Chesonic, uh, who else? There's a, there's a lot of them. These guys, Jimmy Carr, uh, Louis C.K. But you know what's crazy? Everyone I named. Uh, oh, Dave Chappelle. They got to throw Dave Chappelle in there. Uh, everyone I name, completely different styles of comedy. But what makes them amazing? I, I, I feel I feel a little funny putting Anthony Jeselnik and Daniel Tosh in the same league as Louis C.K. and Dave Chappelle. But I'm just saying, I, I'm just trying to make a point, all right? Uh, these guys, they have completely different styles of comedy, but the one thing they have in common is the not giving a fuckness about the comedy. I think that's, that's what I love a lot. Oh, uh, look. Shot. <laughs> Sha 
I said, there your Taj, man. Look, I'm just some guy with, with, with some cheap sunglasses watching it. He's the one that says it. That 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 9-11 joke, yo, it, it's true. A lot of us, you know, we used to be like, ah, mm, July is 7. Uh, August, God, it's 8 then, all right? September is not. But what's that 9-11? And we start to refer to it as 9-11. It made things easy. <laughs> look, I'm, I'm just saying. Look, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah, act like y'all didn't laugh. Anyways, look, y'all let me know what's next from Daniel Tosh. And if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know that you were here. <laughs> and I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be the peace.